Hi, good day. I'm Victor Dew, and today I want to talk about deciding what you want. Um, in deciding what you want, I want you to know that the choices you make in life matters a lot. And uh, not just uh, those choices. In your choices, you have to be specific. Now, uh, I just want to use this brief story to motivate you in uh, deciding what you want, that particular thing that uh, you want in life. Now, uh, we, we have a story of a boy, as a young boy who really knew what he wanted in life. Now, this is it. A woman asks her small, quiet, thoughtful son an important question. What would you like to be and do most of all? I am confident that she didn't prepared for the answer she received because this young boy looked at his mother and said with conviction I want to be big and I want to be athletic. His answer appeared to have one big and serious problem namely that his family was small in stature. So his mother was faced with a dilemma which she met head on. She explained this family story to him and said that although he might not be able to do anything about being big he could do a great deal about being an athlete. Now, for a very long time, it appeared that his mother was wrong on the latter point about being an athlete because this small, shy, introspective youngster was all terms. He was the last one chosen for pick up games, regardless of the sport. He was also the first one caught from the baseball football, basketball, and soccer teams. Now, when he was in his ninth grade, after one more failed effort, his coach took him aside and asked him why he continued to pursue the impossible dream. Now, look at this coach. He felt that the dream was impossible. In life, there are so many people that are my term and stand as a barrier. It, it might be people that matter uh, in your life, they might be the ones to discourage you in pursuing your dream. But all I have to say is that don't be discouraged. Now, let's go back to the story. Now, um, this young boy was simply not caught from being an athlete because he was such an excellent and intelligent student. Why didn't he concentrate on developing his skills in other areas? And simply enjoying other athletes at home. Why didn't he concentrate in just of sitting and enjoying other athletes, just sitting and watching other athletes at home? Because he really knew what he wanted and he is in pursuit of that dream. Come what me to him, he knew that yes, this is what I want to be. And no matter how many times I fail, I have to stand up have to get up and make it happen. In this life, there are some things uh, that is, that is, if you can't really fly, you work. Sorry, if you can't fly, you run. And if you can't run, you walk. And if you can't walk, you crawl. If you can't crawl, in anything you do, just keep movement. Let the motion be there. But now, looking at this boy, even after the discouragement, from his coach. For most youngsters, the conversation would have dealt a devastating blow. But the youngster this coach was talking to was Melin Olsen. Melin Olsen. This Melin Olsen, I know you must have heard about him. And, uh, and he's a, a popular figure. He's somebody a lot of people know about. Not only had he started to grow, he also developed the speed and coordination that enabled him to become an all-American high school football player. Now, this is uh, Melin Orsa. This, these times, he was failing. He, he, he was not just uh, failing and used that failure as, as excuse. He was using them as a training. That is, uh, he, he, he used them to um, develop himself. He developed speed. He 
coordinated himself. So before he knew it, this enabled him to become an all-American high school football player and later even at Utah State, an all-American college defensive player. He became a defensive player even uh, at um, Utah State. In addition, he, gra uh, that is, he graduated Magna Cum Laude, who was on the academic All-American team and received virtually all and every award that can be granted as an athlete, that can be granted in athletics. Now, as a professional football player, Olisen made the pro ball 14 times. Those of you who aren't football fans may remember him for his roles in television's Little House on the Prayer and Father Murphy. Today, he is a highly respected member of a number of organizations, excels at public speaking, and has helped raise more than a billion dollars for the Children's Miracle Network. Now, what is the message? Why am I narrating this story? Why am I narrating this story? Um, narrating this story for you to be specific about what you want. Now, here is the message. The message here is that in whatever you do, hold on to your dreams. Work hard at them like Marlene or Lysen did. But keep in mind that at the foundation of your dreams, there is the kind of person you are. And the kind of person you are determines the height of your climb. And the depth of your belief is the determining factor of the realization of your dreams. So, please, have these uh, points in mind. Hold on to your dreams. Work hard at them. Just like this kid, these are, are, are Marlene all the same day. But you should also keep in mind that at the foundation of your dreams lays the kind of person you are. The kind of person you are determines the height of your climb. And the height of your uh, um, climb, depth of your belief, is the determining factor of the realization of your dreams. So thank you for watching. And please share and don't forget to like. And most importantly, click on the subscribe button below. Thank you.